of the new labor agreement. Expansion of the postseason, the 12 teams, which Major League Baseball pushed for, and the players' union agreed to. Doubleheaders will be nine innings, and regular extra inning rules return, meaning no more runner on second. The National League will adopt the DH rule, and most important, the deal means opening day is tentatively scheduled for April 7th. Oh, yes. What a great day. We've got college hoops. We've got Major League Baseball coming back. Free agent frenzy in Major League Baseball and in the NFL. We'll get to all of it here on SportsCenter. I'm Shay Cornett. He is Kevin Nagandu. Let's stay with baseball, shall we? No doubt. Let's bring in our MLB insiders, Jeff Pass and Tim Kirkjian. Jeff, let's start with you. What changed to get this deal finally done day 99? Kevin, two things pushed this across the finish line for Major League Baseball. The first was this morning when the league and the union agreed on an international draft proposal. They're going to push it back, table it until July. But that paved the way for Major League Baseball making a larger proposal that included an increase in the competitive balance tax threshold, an increase in the pre-arbitration bonus pool, and eventually the vote went to players. Now, player leaders, the executive subcommittee, voted eight to nothing against ratifying this deal but the rank and file across major league baseball the players said we want to play and through the player representatives ended up voting 26 to 4 and with a 26 to 12 total it passed and baseball's back all right baseball is back it did take 99 days though tim kirchin so what's your reaction to the lockout finally ending today well, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled like everybody else. Look, I love basketball. I could watch Steph Curry play all day. But <laughs> baseball is the best game, and now we get to watch it again. And the most important thing is we get to watch 162 games. My thinking has always been baseball is the best game. If you play 162, everything takes care of itself. If we played less than 162, we would have had players demanding full pay, full service time, and that would have created all sorts of issues. And even though there are still issues going into this, everyone is really happy, mostly the fans and mostly guys like me, who frankly don't have anything else to do with our lives but cover <laughs> baseball, so I'm just thrilled. Oh, I can't wait for you to fill out the box scores, Tim, once again. Stadium workers also win. The fans win. Jeff, though, in your mind, who's the biggest winner when you break down this deal? Kevin, you win. Shea wins. Tim wins. The guy who hacked me today wins. <laughs> But the fans especially are the ones who win. And they're the ones who win because they get to see Major League Baseball. Now, I think the players are winners too, frankly. The, the jump from $210 million to 230 in the first year and $244 million in the last year of the CBT, it's big. The, the raise in minimum salary, big. The, the pre-arbitration bonus pool that didn't exist and is now $50 million a year, big. And frankly, the league wins too because the system that has been in place that has allowed these teams' franchise values to increase as much as they have remains in place without significant changes. So the financial structure is the same. The players are getting more, and baseball is back. I, I think the honest answer here is we're all winners today. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with you. Uh, but, Tim, I mean, we got this figured out after 99 days, but still three weeks away from what was supposed to be opening day. So where does baseball go from here to maybe restore some of the reputation that it's lost with fans? Well, it's going to be difficult with some fans, but the next three weeks is just going to be total insanity when it comes to trades and free agent signings. We have 200 free agents out there, including some premium guys such as Freddie Freeman, Carlos Correa, Trevor Story, and so many more. This is what baseball fans love, is when their team goes out and gets a new piece, and now they can look at their new batting order. Well, a whole bunch of teams, including the Dodgers and the Yankees, are gonna make gigantic moves in order to improve their team and then once this crazy period is over, the games are going to start. And this is how we're going to get the fans back for the most part is all anybody really cares about is watching the games and they're going to start on April 7th. All right. So my advice right now from here on out, Jeff Pass, and protect your Twitter password the rest of the night. I don't want to buy NFTs. <laughs> I need to know who's signing when and where the rest of the night. Fantastic <laughs> stuff. Tim Kirchin, Jeff Pass, and thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.